What's up YouTube, David Taylor here with Techno Buffalo, and today I'm gonna to show you all how to unroot and put stock firmware back on your Android phone. And just a disclaimer, this is technically a rooting video, so make sure you follow the instructions perfectly. Uh, you are at your own risk when you do this, so make sure you know that. Uh, the developers of the files that we're using and me, myself, and TechnoBuffalo are not responsible for what happens to your device. Make sure you know what you're doing before you continue. If you guys have any issues, make sure you check for Robo13 in the comments. That's me. That's my uh, main channel, so come check out my main channel as well uh, for technology videos. But I'll be responding to comments down there if you have any issues, or you can tweet me. It's at DTRobo13, and you can find me on Twitter. Uh, send me any questions you guys have, if you have any problems you run into, and I will try to help you out. Okay, now this specific tutorial is just for Samsung phones, but you can do this with LG, uh, Motorola, HTC, those kind of phones as well. You just have to download different files. So for LG, there's LG PC Suite. Uh, for Samsung, you can also use Samsung Keys. Uh, Motorola has this kind of support page where you can download their uh, specific files for that. And the HTC phones, you use this thing called ROM Upgrade Utility. Uh, just search for your phone and then stock firmware, basically, and you should find uh, the files that you need to continue with this specific tutorial. This one uses Odin, uh, which is good for Samsung phones, but the rest of the kind of phones won't be able to use Odin uh, to do this. But this is more of a open, type video where I show you guys how to just unroot and go back to stock on all phones. So just search your phone and then stock firmware like recovery or uh, restore or something like that and you should find uh, the correct files. Okay, so once you get all your files downloaded, I have the links in the uh, post on TechnoBuffalo's website, so make sure you check the first link in the description down below. Uh, it may take a few minutes just to get updated on there, so just uh, stay tuned for that down in the description. So you click on Odin for plus custom root file, and once you download that, you also wanna get your stock firmware. Uh, this one again is for the i9-505 uh, Samsung Galaxy S4, so make sure you have that model if you are downloading this file. So any other phones, again, you wanna get your specific files for your device. Uh, Odin, this, this method will work for the Galaxy Note 2 or the Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, any, basically, any Samsung Galaxy phone will work with this method. So if you have one of those phones, uh, you, can, can, you can use this specific uh, version of Odin and that kind of stuff. But if you have a different phone, just grab your uh, correct files. So once you get those files downloaded, you wanna put them in a folder. I have them right here, uh, CF Auto Root, and then my uh, custom stock recovery file right here. So I'm going to extract both of these to a folder, just like this. And I have a WinRAR installed. If you guys don't have that, just go search for that online. It's W-I-N-R-A-R. -R. It lets you unzip uh, packages and that kind of stuff. So once this finishes, I'm going to do the CF auto root file right here, and then click extract. And there we go, now we got two folders right here. Uh, this one is the stock firmware, as you guys can see right here, it ends in .md5. And then over here is the CF auto root, and I'm sure you guys have seen this before if you have ever rooted a Samsung phone. This is Odin, and then this is the rooting file that we need. So this is a little bit weird. We're gonna put it back on stock, and then we're actually going to reroute it to get rid of the flash counter on the Samsung phones. Most phones you don't have to do this with, but certain phones you do. On uh, this phone, you specifically, you do actually have to do this. So, uh, back to the phone, we're gonna plug this into uh, USB. Make sure you have USB debugging on, so go into settings, go all the way down, oh, go back to more, scroll down to about device. If you don't have developer mode on right there, uh, you wanna go to about device, scroll down to the build number, and just tap that a bunch of times, and that will actually enable developer mode. Right there, developer options, click on that. Scroll down to USB debugging and check that and make sure that is uh, turned on. Okay, and after you enable USB debugging, it should make a noise on your computer and it should recognize your device. If it doesn't, make sure you use a different USB cable or a different USB port because sometimes USB uh, is a little bit weird with uh, phones and that kind of stuff. So just make sure it recognizes your phone. Go into my computer just to make sure you can see your phone right there. And if, it's, if it can see it, then you're good to go. Now we're gonna put our phone into download mode and we've done this before as well. Oh, and this is just in case you guys are on a custom ROM. Right now I'm back on stock, but I am rooted right there. I have SuperSU. If I uh, click on this, you can see that I am rooted. I can use it. Uh, this is just to show you how to get back on stock. If you're using the Google Play Edition ROM that we were doing a few uh, weeks ago or a different ROM, uh, you can still follow this tutorial to get back onto stock. So we're gonna put this into download mode. Then to do this, you're gonna 
actually restart the phone, click on restart, and then once you hit OK, you want to hold down on the volume button and the home button as it restarts. Now, as it does that, it's going to boot into uh, download mode right here. Just make sure it boots back up. And then once you see this screen coming up, you're just going to hit up on the volume button to put it into download mode right there. And then you're going to go to your computer and open up Odin. So we're going to go into the CF auto root file right here. Right click on Odin and click on run as administrator. And once this pops up, you want to make sure you have a yellow box right here. If you do, that means your phone is recognized by your computer and you're good to go. We're going to click on PDA right here. And then go find the uh, stock firmware, which is right here in this folder. Click on that and just make sure it is the .md5 file right there and click open. Now it's going to load it in right there and all you have to do is hit start. Now this process takes about five minutes or so depending on your computer and that kind of stuff. So you can click start and just let it do its thing. Uh, if you get a green pass up here in the top left box right here, that means it, it worked fine. Uh, on your phone you should see a little blue bar going across. It will take a little while so just let it sit uh, and let it do its thing and then once it finishes it'll actually reboot and then we'll continue from there. Okay, and as you can see there, it just finished and there's the green pass that we got on the screen. And right here, it will be rebooting into uh, the stock firmware. Okay, and as you can see here, we are back on the stock firmware. There's no root, there's no super SU, anything like that. But we do want to actually reroute it to get rid of the flash counter like I said before. So we're going to put this back into download mode, click on restart, and click OK. Now hold the volume down button and the home button and let this uh, boot into download mode. And now once you see the little uh, download mode symbol, you just want to hit up on the volume button right there, and you'll see downloading right there. And now you go back to your computer and restart Odin. I'm going to click on odin.exe, run as administrator, and now we actually want to go find that CF auto root file. So we're going to click on PDA again. Make sure you have the yellow uh, box once again. Click on PDA. Uh, I'm going to go find the CF auto root right there this file and click open and now hit start and this will be really quick because this is just rooting it really uh, really quick and actually getting rid of the root is a lot simpler than doing it through Odin and I'll show you how to do that once we get the flash counter reset so now this will reboot as you can see here and we will have super SU and root permissions to uh, install triangle away which is the app which will actually let you reset the flash counter and let you you know send it back into warranty and that kind of stuff so once this finishes we will be right back all right, now that we're back into the stock firmware, we're going to click the home button, slide to unlock, go over, make sure you see Super SU right there and click on it just to make sure it is fully installed. If you can go over to the settings and it doesn't say anything, doesn't give you any pop-ups, that means you are good to go. Uh, now right down here, if you scroll all the way down in Super SU, full unroot is right there. That's how you completely get rid of the root. We're not doing that just yet, so don't click on that. We need to actually go download Triangle Away. Uh, now the best way to do this is to search on the XDA forums. I'll have the link in the description or in the uh, Techno Buffalo post, so make sure you check that out. I uh, do want to actually go onto it on your phone though. But now before we do that, we want to go into settings, go over to more, I think, and then go to security, scroll down and click on unknown sources so that you can install apps uh, from other sources than the Google Play Store. Now once you get that, I need to turn on Wi-Fi and we'll be right back. All right, now the easiest way to find it is just to type in triangle away space XDA, and it's going to be the very first link in Google. Just click on that. This is the actual developer's link. Uh, we are not trying to uh, steal the app or anything like that. There is a paid version in the Google Play Store, but he actually offers a free version uh, through this website. It doesn't have all the features as the paid version, uh, but this will do exactly what we need it to do, and it's free. So once you get to his website, you just want to scroll all the way down to the bottom and go find this little area right here. It's a little bit hard to see, but it says Triangle Away version 3.01.apk. This is his file, so make sure you go check out his specific uh, link because this is the creator of this APK, and he is giving it away uh, for free. So go here, scroll down just so you can see that it is downloaded. Click on this, and then you want to hit Install. And once you hit Install, it'll actually install uh, Triangle Away for you. Now, this does not work for every phone. This does work for most phones, uh, and most ones don't actually need to do this. It's mainly Samsung phones, I believe, but I could be wrong on that. Just make sure you can see if your flash counter is being logged and make sure uh, you have it back to zero or one. Uh, so just search online for if your phone has a flash counter uh, and see if Triangle Away will work for you. So then you click Open, 
And once this opens, it'll say it needs uh, root permissions, so just click Grant. And it'll say detecting your device and all this stuff. And now this will pop up. Make sure that is your device number right there. The GT uh, i9505 is this device. It, it will probably say something different for your phone. So just make sure that is your model number or else this will uh, mess up your phone. So just make sure that's the correct number. Click continue and then click OK. And then one more time. I'm going to click no thanks. And now you'll see here if you scroll down, my counter is one because I did actually flash it with the stock firmware. So this does actually update the counter if you do flash it with stock. So just make sure you know that. Uh, and right down there you see re reset flash counter. So I'm going to click on that. And then once that finishes, it's going to do a bunch of stuff and just follow the instructions on the screen and you'll be able to uh, do this no problem. So I'm going to click on reset flash counter and it'll say danger, blah, blah, blah. This could brick your device. Just click continue and then click continue one more time. Actually right here you want to make sure that you read this. It does say it'll boot into download mode and then once you see the big green Android screen, uh, press and hold the power button for 10 seconds and then it'll reboot into uh, its version of the Triangle Way. So I'm going to click on continue and this will actually uh, reboot the phone into download mode and then we'll go from there. So once this finishes, uh, we will hold in the power button for 10 seconds to reboot the phone one more time. So let's get this into download mode. We don't actually have to do anything. It'll do it itself. So just let it do its thing. Let it put it into its own version of download mode. So there we go. We are in download mode and now we just have to hold in the power button for 10 seconds and let it reboot. So I'm holding it in right now. And this will turn the phone off and then once it turns off you can actually, I believe you can just let go and it should restart the phone itself. So there we go. I'm just going to let go. And since you're plugged in, I think it should just restart the phone. There we go. You hear the little haptic feedback for it. Now this should boot into its little uh, triangle away screen right here. There we go. And you can you can read the uh, description right here to actually follow the instructions. Uh, it says my flash counter is one. I'm on a custom binary. And all you have to do is hit volume up to reset the counter and the status of your phone. So I'm just click volume up right here. Let it finish its thing. Now it says done and now all you have to do is hit volume up to reboot or volume down to go back into download mode. I'm going to go back into download mode really quick just to show you guys that I am on a custom or on the stock firmware and that it is back to stock uh, stock numbers for the flash counter. So once this boots back into download mode, you can see at the very top of there, it's really hard to tell but you'll be able to uh, see it for yourself. It says official for the status and there is no uh, flash counter on it as well. So now I'm going to reboot back into stock OS and then unroot the phone. And then we will be completely back on stock exactly as you got it right out of the store. And if it boots back into the stock recovery, all you have to do is click reboot phone. It's just a thing that Triangle Away did. Uh, it's no problem at all. And then once this reboots, we will be able to see the home screen. And then we're gonna unroot the phone through SuperSU. Actually, before we unroot it, we're actually going to uninstall Triangle Away. So we're gonna slide to unlock, go to apps, Go over to settings, I think it's under more, go to application manager and then click on triangle away and just click uninstall. Say OK, let that finish. Now triangle away is gone, but we are still rooted so we're going to go over to super SU right there, click on that, go to settings, scroll all the way down and click on full unroot. Just click on that and then click continue. Now this will completely unroot your phone. Now you are back on stock OS with a uh, back to flash counter zero. You are back to the exact same way you got it uh, right out of the store. So make sure you check out technobuffalo.com for this post. You, you can see a text version if you like following it that way as well. Uh, you can find all the links on there to download the, the files that you need for this tutorial. So I hope you guys like this video. My name is David Taylor and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks guys. What's up everyone? John here. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, I certainly hope you did. Click on the subscribe button right under me in my pants region to get tons more tech videos from Techno Buffalo. We've got awesome unboxings, comparisons, reviews, recaps, and everything else you can think of in the tech world right here on the channel. Join the herd today! If you want to check out some more content, just click right over this way to see some other recent videos. See you guys next time.